Hi guys, I'm Laura from Bells Boutique and today with holiday season finally upon us I thought I'd take you through my holiday packing essentials. With my job I do a fair bit of travelling and I'm forever packing and unpacking my suitcase. So I've kind of mastered what to take with me. I used to massively overpack but now I tend to keep it to the bare essentials. When it comes to packing and buying things for my holiday, I tend to go for more versatile pieces, meaning that they're clothes I can wear in the day by the pool, and then if I don't wear them in the day, I can dress them up a little bit and wear them in the evening. Um, I tend to go for hand luggage where I can, but there is a little bit of a problem with that because it means smaller liquids and less stuff. I've got a short holiday coming up and I popped into Asda to pick up some of my essentials and I'm going to take you through them now. If you're going down the option of taking just hand luggage then sacrifices absolutely have to be made and one of my top tips would be just to take a couple of bits of swimwear. I know it's so tempting to take a different one for every single day for photo purposes but you know what, you can wash it in the sink, put it on the balcony and it'll be dry for the next day. So on this trip I'm just taking two, I'm taking a one piece and a bikini that I picked up in Asda. This bikini is absolutely gorgeous and I'm obsessed. It comes as a two part which I find really really handy because quite often you can't find like the right set that fits you on top and on bottom but with this you can buy the sizes to suit. Um, this is a gorgeous white textured bikini, it has this pretty 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 ruffling with a gorgeous floral detail it has detachable straps too to avoid tan lines and I'm really really excited to wear this for days that I'm not feeling my most bikini confident or the days that I'm running around the pool with Harrison or up the climbing frame or doing water aerobics whatever it is that I'm doing I decided to pick up a little one piece now this is absolutely stunning, it is so <laughs> flattering, it's from the Body Sculpt range and it just sucks you in in all of the right places. It has a detachable strap once again which is great for avoiding tan lines and at £10 I thought this was really good. Um, it just makes a little bit of a difference from a bikini and you can also just chuck this on with a sarong too and you've got yourself a little outfit. I mentioned that I like to buy really versatile pieces that can be worn in the day and in the evening and so my favourite thing to buy for holidays is definitely beach cover-ups. Now these can be worn on their own with a bikini just walking around the pool or you can put them on with a little top underneath maybe and a pair of shorts and a little pair of sandals in the evening and they look equally amazing. And my first one that I picked up is this gorgeous, gorgeous, like, crochet um, designed one. It's, like, a medium length. It comes to around your bottom. And I think with a vest under this in the evening, this will look amazing. It will show off your tan beautifully. And in the daytime, this will look so, so pretty over your bikini. And for £14, I think that is such a bargain. And I'm really, really excited to wear it. One of my favourite things to wear on holiday is without a doubt a maxi dress. They're foolproof, they suit everybody, they're easy to chuck on and you haven't got to think about anything else where your outfit is concerned. And I picked up this one in Asda, it was only £14 which is amazing and I am obsessed with this print. It is a floor length and it does cinch in at the waist with these cute little tassels and I really really love it. It's a lightweight material making it perfect for the hot weather and as far as versatile pieces go this is a winner because it also scrunches up to barely nothing in your suitcase. When I saw this next piece I absolutely knew that I had to buy it because not only is it so pretty it's incredibly versatile too and it is this cold shoulder little strappy summer dress with the most gorgeous gorgeous print. I absolutely love the colours, I love the cold shoulder design and again I'm obsessed with this tassel detail. This will work so well teamed up over a bikini and in the evening on its own with a pair of sandals. I am obsessed with this and again it's so so lightweight and folds to pretty much nothing in your case. Just like with swimwear it can be really tempting to overpack when it comes to shoes. 
but the general consensus when talking to my friends is that actually you tend to only wear like one or two pairs. I know that I find the pair that are the most comfortable in the heat and tend to wear them both day and night. And I picked up this one pair of sandals in Asda and they're so, so pretty. It is this cute, cute gold pair of embellished sandals and I am obsessed. They're only £16 and these are going to work really, really well down by the pool in the daytime. You can just chuck them on to go to the bar and in the evening they're really fancy too. Um, I'm not one to wear heels on holiday at all. I'm all about comfort and these are going to do the job perfectly. I personally am really sensitive in the sun so taking a hat is an absolute essential for me and it's something that I'd pack instead of something else if I didn't have the space but I found that taking a floppy hat is perfect. It does the trick, it fits in your bag perfectly so I picked up this little hat here as well as this hat here and um, they're both really really floppy but this one is particularly glam. I absolutely love this print and it's so oversized that when I'm on my sun lounger reading a book it's going to give me a little bit of shade, cover my shoulders and also protect my head whilst looking particularly fabulous. If you're taking hold luggage on your holiday then you're going to be absolutely fine where liquids and stuff are concerned and if you're anything like me then you're going to overpack and take things like cooling sprays, these are amazing and if you have got the space I highly recommend them, they're only 80 pence in Asda too which is such a bargain and um, you're going to need the number one holiday essential which is suntan lotion, I take tons of the stuff if I can, um, hair conditioners like leave-in ones to spray by the pool, after suns, the list goes on, I will take every toiletry possible if I've got the space. But if you are taking hand luggage, then of course you're going to have to sacrifice products because you're only going to be able to take small 100ml bottles and I think only 10 of them. My top tip if you are going down the hand luggage route would be to decanter your products into small travel size bottles which you can get in Asda for like a pound each I believe or just go to the travel section and pick up the miniatures of the things that you need. So shampoo and conditioner, toothpaste and antiseptic, they're all going to fit into your um, liquids bag and I think they're only three for three pounds which is an absolute bargain. Another essential for me would be a mosquito spray. I get bitten alive when I go on holiday and this was only 90 mils. So this is going to fit into my bag. Not everybody finds this an essential but for me it absolutely is and it comes up there with suntan lotion. Where suntan lotion is concerned it's so so important, it's probably the number one essential of holiday packing but do buy little ones if you're going to be taking hand luggage, they're perfect size to pop into your liquids bag and also when you're on holiday you can just take a couple of these maybe and they're perfect to fit into your beach bag. Where things like razors and earplugs and toothbrush covers are concerned take them out of the packaging because the packaging does take up a lot of space even if you don't think it takes up a lot so I recommend just taking out what you need putting them into little bags and you're done for your trip it's going to save a lot of space and it means you can take other things with you instead I personally tend to take my entire first aid kit when I go away but I'm definitely trying to downsize that so I picked up a little wash bag and I have picked up for the things that I would always buy, things like upset tummy tablets, but I'm just going to take out a tray of those, like, and a tray of painkillers to take with me, so I know that I've got them, but I don't need to take the whole box of each one, because again, that takes up space, and it all just adds to the weight of your case as well. My final tip where liquids are concerned is an essential, and it is just to find an alternative to your regular liquids, so you don't have to take up all of your space in your liquids bag. For instance, find a solid deodorant rather than taking an aerosol or a cream. That way it doesn't have to go into your liquids bag. It's saving your allowance and you've still got an essential with you. So those were my summer holiday packing essentials that I picked up in Asda. I'd absolutely love to know if you like any of these bits, whether you're going to be picking them up for your summer holiday. And also I'd really love to know what things you would sacrifice in your hand luggage. Make sure you subscribe to Mum's Live View, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you soon.
Bye.